Hey everyone, this is Preacher Man RB, and this is a new uh, segment I'm going to be doing in the place of The Flash whenever it's on a uh, break on uh, its season finale and whenever it goes to the next season in that in between time is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing Sons of Anarchy reviews Wednesdays and I'm starting off with season one, episode one. And what happens on this episode, we meet Jax Taylor and he's driving to the gas station and he's uh, bu buying a children's book for his son Abel that's about to be born and he is, while he's doing this the mines are stealing Sons of Anarchy guns the Sam Pro guns and they torch their manufacturing places where they store the guns and stuff and Jack sees the place go up in flames while he's at the gas station so he, so he leaves and goes to, to, to the rest of the Sam Pro they were originals where they're at and they meet and they in the next morning they go and they find the remains of their warehouse where they had the guns and the cop on the scene tells them what happens and tells them all that went down about the guns being torched and they found two dead bodies on the scene too and I can't remember who they were supposed to be but Jax pays the cop off and tells them to clean this up and after this, Jackson and them go back to the clubhouse and they come up with a plan to get back at the mines and they're going to torch their warehouse where they have, they hold their meth and stuff and get their guns back. And doing this, they need Opie's help. And who Opie is, he's Jackson's childhood friend that's in the club and he was, he just got out of prison. He's been in prison for five years at this point and Jax has to go and try to get him back in the club and Opie agrees he, even though he didn't want to at first he agrees to do it because Bobby can't do it uh, Bobby Hunter he can't do it he would be the one that torch the place but he has a he as a Elvis impersonator that he has to go to so he had him and Half Sack have to go to that that's why Bobby can't do it that's why they have to get Opie and Opie agrees and then further on the episode Opie's getting his stuff ready and his wife Don, uh, Donna comes in and she starts to get upset and the kids walk in and then Jax tells Opie to take the kids to the hospital and say one of them hit their head that way it'll be on record and Jax covers for Opie to Clay that way Opie didn't have to do this and so they go to the mines warehouse and they find out where it is and they start to uh, rigging the place up to blow and they find their guns and they're getting to load up and Jax doesn't understand how to do this so he's about to call Opie to try to figure out that way Opie could walk them through this and then three mines come and a skinhead comes and Jax and them have to kill them and Jax doesn't want to but Clay makes him do this because it early on in the episode Jax finds the journal of his father uh, John Taylor and it's showing how John Taylor didn't want to go into the gun business. He wanted it just to be a regular biker gang. He, biker club, he didn't want it to be a gang. He didn't want it to grow into what it was. And the, Jax finds us out. And he talks to his mom about it while they're cleaning up his house because Jax's is ex so why overdosed on meth while she was pregnant and she's been in the hospital this whole time. They had to do emergency C-section on April. And in the episode, they are able to fix Abel, and he's able to survive. And we'll find out more about that. But uh, Jax is trying to get this to set so he can make it explode. The mines come, and then they have to kill them three mines plus that uh, skinhead. And the reason the skinhead's there is because the head of the the Nazi organization that's outside of Charmin wants to come in Charmin to sell his, his meth and Clay doesn't want that to happen. Clay want, doesn't want meth in Charmin period. And the skinheads are trying to get in so they team up with the mines to try to do this. And after this Jackson and them blow up the mines headquarters at the end of the episode. And at the end of the episode Jax goes to see Abel and that's all that really happened on this week's episode. My question for y'all is, what do y'all think is going to happen? What's going to be the repercussions of uh, 
Sam Pro blowing up the mines warehouse. As always, the Fisherman Army sign out. That's Georgie Russell. See you on the next one.